Hello everybody, what is up and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Hollow Knight. And in the last episode I made my way down here to the fungal, through the fungal wastes. I um, actually explored quite a bit, but unfortunately up there where you see the uh, building and then the whole pathway to the right with that weird giant stag beetle looking formation um uh yeah i saw hornet go that way but unfortunately she zipped across and i unfortunately do not have a zippy line thing which hopefully in the second game they make that a part of the mechanics um which i'm pretty sure they are so there's a path here to the left i did not go on so let's do it. Oh my gosh, that's the second time. Excuse me. Jesus Christ, I ate breakfast like a while ago too. And yet for some reason, I'm like still so gassy. And on the last episode, I freaking did the same exact thing. I just like went like in the middle of a sentence, just like I did, <laughs> just like I did just now. Darn. Okay, try not to take too much damage. Ah, what was that? I had lag and then, okay, that wasn't fair. I had lag there. So now welcome. Uh, it's the very foreboding entrance to the Mantis Village. And this is the home of the Mantis tribe. Um, these enemies, these guys we've been encountering. Come here, come closer. You can kind of cheese them by doing this. And yeah, it's really a cheap way of defeating them, but it works. <coughs> Whoops, and the same works for these guys, but I failed there. Oh man, I wish, I wish, I wish. If this was like the original version of the game, I would be able to get it. Ah, dang, I could have tried to use him as a pogo to get up to there, but oh well. It don't matter. I'll get to it eventually. In fact, what I need is actually over here to the left. And I don't even have to fight the boss to get it. But I'm going to have to fight a boss eventually. So. Alright. So. Oh. Dang it. I can't get it yet. I have to fight this guy. Okay. Die. Alright. That wasn't too bad. Alright, so we hit that switch. And now we go over here to the right. Back to the right so that I can make my way back to the left again on the upper path. And that opens the door so I can get up to here. And ow, stupid enemies. I swear, doing this game hitless would be extremely hard, but not impossible. But I'm just not the kind of person who'd be able to do it, because I just, I don't pay attention. So here we get the very, very useful next movement ability, the Mantis Claw. This is a game changer. While sliding against the wall to jump, uh, against the wall to jump again, jump from wall to wall to reach new areas. We now have the wall jump. So now, boom, we can finally get up to areas that are a lot higher um, because see if you fall like you can just basically if there's a wall and it's you could slide down it you can wall jump off of it there are some walls though that are basically uh, programmed to not be climbable though but like for example like these walls boom I can climb these all day so um, the truce remains. 
our vigil holds the beasts are kept at bay so um i forget the whole entire lore of uh hollow knight but i remember something along the lines of the mantises in hollow knight being sort of like um they're intelligent enough to the they're intelligent enough to the point where they're like organized and civilized and they will um, work towards killing and controlling the you know pest populations I guess of enemies <coughs> so that not only opens that but it opens this entire hole in the ground now before I proceed on down that I'm gonna go back because there's two things I want to do I want to hit up the save bench of course but then I also want to uh, oh, dang I really wish I had the map markers uh, for save benches um, I also want to do something else besides hit up this bench I want to go over here to the left, and now I can rescue her. I did this, I went this way in the last episode, but unfortunately, I did not actually have the ability I needed. Ooh, okay, got rid of him fairly easily. Ow. Him, I did not get rid of so fairly easily, but it's okay. I'm actually making better use of my spells. Oh man. Oh, I can't get up there. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, no. Hold on. I made it to that wall. What the heck? Okay. Let's try this again. Aha! <laughs> See that? Die. Ah. That was scary. Alright. Oh, nope. Alright, keep making my way up. And now... Uh, now we have the Celeste platform segment. I'm joking. Celeste is very... Challenging game. Ah, gosh. Yeah, Celeste is very challenging. Whew, I did it. Okay, good. Sweet. All this just to get to her. Oh, please don't leave me behind. You forgot about me? I knew you would. Everyone always forgets about me. Oh, who are you? Your face. You're so... so... I'm sorry, I got lost. I don't know how I ended up here. I... You came here just to rescue... Here to rescue me, Bretta? The girl that everyone just ignores? Sorry, when I look at your face, I can hardly... I just can't believe you came all the way down here to rescue me. I didn't think anybody... Sorry, I mean, thank you. I mean, I'd better go. Back to town, I mean. I better get home. So, this unlocks a quest line. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this unlocks a quest line. Um, it's a part of the whole entire Zote quest line as well. Alright, now. Here's what I'm gonna do. I unequipped Fragile Greed last time. Um, actually, you know what? How much does Dash Master cost? Two? Yeah, I'll just, I'll just leave my sub as it is because I can, like if I could equip Dash Master as well as having Thorns of Agony and my um, uh, Soul Catcher charm, I would do it. But uh, I mean, I could technically go and buy an extra charm notch. What the heck? Did you just see how my hit went through? Bruh, what is with these hit boxes? Oh no, I need to keep going up. Whew, 
Okay, slip past you. All right, sweet. That was some nice fancy maneuvering. All right, we'll go back to this village now. <clears throat> and this guy is some good uh, free soul. I shouldn't really call him free soul, but basically. All right, now, I don't know how many attempts this is going to take. Oh, and there's still a way up that I haven't been yet from Mantis Village. Ah, that's right. I need to, I think I need to go all the way up into the left to get to it. But whatever. Um, here we, ha oh, that's right. I forgot there's also this area to get through. Ouch. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? So anyways, we have Ah, no. So we have all these locks. Oh, dang it. No, I didn't mean to dash there. All right, get out of my way, hunter or whatever you're called. Right, let's try evading these spikes and getting up here. Now let's go down. And open this gate. Let's keep going down. Oh, whoops. As you can see, there are quite a bit of secrets around here. Carefully collect the geo node. Unfortunately, I still don't have the charm. It lets me um, just pick up Geo without actually picking it up. Um, there's another Geo node right here. Ooh. And let's just avoid that guy. And let's go up here and unlock this one. And down here. Okay, take a deep breath, get a drink of water, and let's uh, challenge the Mantis Lords. Here we go. All right, now the Mantis Lords have, um, dang it, I keep missing. All right, you wanna be quick with the Mantis Lords. And by quick, I mean on your toes. Ah, because of that. There's not very many opportunities to heal during this fight, unfortunately. Um, that's one of them. You just mainly want to pay attention to what he's doing. But... Uh, don't get too comfortable quite yet. Because... Because eventually, what the heck? Dang it! Give me a chance to heal, dude. Ouch! I'm an idiot. And eventually, it's going to transition. Oh, okay. Stop it! Let me heal. Okay. All right. I'm missing only one mask. He keeps doing that. Ah! Oh, come on! I... No, that's not fair. That wasn't fair. That was not fair. Because... I don't know. It absolutely was fair! You fucked up! Alright. Bam! The, there. Now I'm back to full health. Sorry about the cussing. Uh, stop running away, you coward. Alright, come on. How many more hits is it going to take? It can't take too many more hits, could it? If it's taking this many for him... Alright, 
Now, this is where the real fight begins. Prepare for two Mantis Lords. Now, the thing you really want to watch out for is that they're different attacks. When they're just attacking one after the other like this, it's actually probably the best. Because I can get in a lot of hits, and I just gotta focus on dodging. Whereas this... There's two different patterns they can do with the discs. There's the one like this, where they go inwards, and then they come out, and that's easy to avoid. And then there's the other one, where it's the opposite, where they go outwards, and then they convert inwards. Uh, nice. Okay, they keep trying to get me. You really gotta just stay on your toes, and eventually you'll get rid of one of them. If I can do this on my first shot, that will be amazing. There's not really any window of opportunity to heal here either, except for right here. That's like the only opportunity to heal is right when those discs come out. Eventually, I'll do enough damage to one of them to kill them. Because I'm constantly hitting them. Except for there. Ah. Ooh, they almost got me. Quit doing the discs! So annoying. Come on! Somebody die already! Once one of them goes down, then the fight becomes extraordinarily more easy. Oh no, that is not good. I took two damage. And that is the exact opposite of what you want. Come on! Just one of you die already. One of you has got to be close. I've done like 20 hits to each of them. Finally! Okay, second one. Or I mean third one, I should say. Okay, heal. Good. We're nearly at full health again. Ah, that could have been a window of opportunity to heal, but I failed. It's okay. Oh, okay, just barely. Ah, I failed. <laughs> Dude! I did it! On first try! First try, bruh! Oh, yes! First try, Mantis Lords. Oh, boy. That is actually... I'm actually stoked I did that because Mantis Lords are usually very, very hard. Oh, the Mantis Lords are usually one of the toughest, like, early game boss fights. Because <laughs> you just have to fight three of them all at once. I don't have a map for this area. But, now, the Mantis Village... Um, the Mantis Village is now a safe spot for us. Because, oh... Oh, it's Carnifer. This place gives me the creeps. Vicious little creatures burst out all uh, over the place, and the passages are a dark, twisting maze. Unless you're well prepared, I'd urge you to leave. Though if you're feeling strong enough to descend, would you like to buy a map? Yes, sure. For just 38 Geo, not bad. I totally forgot that Carnifer was hidden here. I'm already in deep nest. Seriously, jeez. Anyway, so, now the Mantises, now that I defeated the Mantis Lords, um, all the other Mantis enemies will not attack you unless you attack them first. So, yeah, it's nice. Unfortunately, this place is not so nice. Hey, I'm nice, I'm not so nice, and we're the not nice. I don't, I don't know. And we're the deep nest. That's the dumbest fucking... Wow. Can you tell I'm a Game Grumps fan? <laughs> I only talked about them in the last episode and now I'm mentioning them now. 
Or was it this episode I talked about them? Well, I'm talking about them now. But, that's... Whatever. Okay. Alright, let's see. Ugh. I really dislike Peep Nest. Because, yeah, it's full of all kinds of these types of enemies. These enemies are called dark dirt carvers. Because they carve out the dirt or something like that. And then we also have these things. These giant centipede enemies. How did I... Really? And then we also have these guys. And lots of pitfalls. Gotcha. I'm scared. This place is so dark. Um, yeah, if I had a certain item, it would make it a lot brighter. But I don't. So. Uh, I almost fell. I have to fall. I'm scared. I'm scared, mommy. Oh, uh, yeah, that's just a trap. That's such a cheap trap, too. Alright, let's keep going. Do I go down? Let's go down. Hmm. I don't know if I want to go this way or not. I actually don't know. I actually honestly don't know. Um, maybe I should actually go up and now I'll unlock some pathways. Well, let's go to the left over here first. Oh. Never mind, there's nothing over to the left. Okay, let's just keep going up then. You gotta be careful though when you check your map in this area, cause, ah. Stop going back into the ground. I need to be able to kill them, and they keep going back into the ground before I can. Stop! Why do you keep going back into the ground? Ow. I need to stop this video soon, too. So let's see if I can get to the top. And then I guess I can call it quits. Cause I still gotta edit an episode and I gotta still upload an episode, dang it. And I still have work today. And unfortunately today is like the worst day. There, finally killed one. Yeah, today is like the worst type of work day for me as well because Basically, it's the days where Walmart has like no associates and they don't ever want to hire anybody and they don't ever want to schedule nobody. So, basically, I'm going to be the only associate there, essentially. I need to quit my belly aching though. But it's still really just stupid. We really are just so understaffed and Walmart does not care. Oh, dang it. I was trying to heal before you got to me, you jerk. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, they can climb walls, too. That's the worst part about the dirt carver. Ah, leave me alone. Die. And they also like to spawn in the worst places.
Unfortunately, I have to go through a whole nother area to get where I'm trying to get to. Ah! Alright. Yeah, this area sucks. I'm actually, like, really not a fan of Deep Nest. I do not like Deep Nest at all. I don't think a lot of people do, though. The whole entire layout is just meant to throw you off. And boom, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to create a shortcut to here. This is... Ow! New enemies, I guess. Oh, Radiant Being, we are blessed. We are blessed. Your rays touch us, your warmth fills us. Hallowness is born again, united in your blazing image. Oh! Yeah, whatever. Go on! Yeah, go on. Yeah, go on. That's what it sounds like you say. Go on! Go on! <laughs> it's like he's telling me to get out. Oh no! Uh oh. Oh no. Oh man, wait. Dang it, that just put me back down here. Shoot, I gotta hurry. I only have three minutes left in this video. Dang it. And I have to go back through this area again. Oh well, it's not that. It doesn't take that much time. Hmm, these dirt carvers are so annoying though. Alright. Alright, now that I made it back up again, this time let's avoid the giant pitfall. And destroy this wall. And this leads us to a very familiar looking area. Ow! I hear you. There you are. No! Quit falling in the acid, Robert. I'm gonna die. St no! I, I hung to the left. I hung to the left there. Aw, oh, crud. Uh-oh. This is very not good. Okay, phew. That's all I needed to do was to be able to do that. Oh my gosh. That was scary. Oh, no. Why did I do that? I didn't mean to do that. Go back. And this area... Should look very familiar. Because it's the fungal waste, obviously. And I only have a minute left. Shoot! I need to end this. Alright. Alright, well, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to get to a save point. But let's see. Oh, I do. Just barely. Alright, well, on the next episode, I will get this mask fragment. But until then, I will see you guys next time.